The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. Oh? And what troubles you? You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? These are the ways of the heathen world. <laughs> Perhaps they would. It may come to that one day. This is why we must not fail. The heathens are beyond the gods' reach. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods, so that the gods may heal their souls. I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too if you choose to remain. There is no greater calling than the one we have chosen. Neither words, nor wealth, nor battle will end this suffering. Only the gods. Will you give them that chance? Good day, stranger. Flame and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Hello? Hello? Well? So, the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. Since then, as I understand it, you entered a quarantine district that is absolutely off-limits to all civilians and somehow managed to walk back out with your life. What could possibly have been on your mind to make you do such a thing? Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. 
You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend, which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the leaden key? The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aora has ever known. More than most, though very few would know so much as his name, and there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than two thousand years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. What scraps of evidence exist suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man, awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes. The plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Whittaker's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in his ceremonial garb, it seems. It must have been a special occasion. The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know, if you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary, and he does not fail. Keep me informed. The leaden key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. 
Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. Then you would look foolish because it is a standing offer. There is no need to refuse. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Well, let's hear it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of... I don't want to think about it. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. Yes? All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Deerwood is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. We are Deerwood cipher investigators, of course. But what we really are is its last barrier against anarchy. People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them. So that is the image we foster. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps, blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes. But the truth is, I don't think many of them could bear it. Me? I started this place, in a different time, under a different duke. I impressed the duke with my research and my work ethic, and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. I lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. Who said I was talented? I don't. Least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. A quiet day at home. There was. He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. 
We saw the world very differently, he and I, but he was good to me while he lasted. Try your best not to die out there. <laughs> 